it takes 1,200 degrees to burn human bones. 1,200 degrees to burn human bones. And pecan wood burns really hot. That's where they leave her. Alone, reduced to ashes. And a pecan orchard and fishing. A few weeks later, this defendant, Bo Dukes, and his buddy, Ryan Dukes, have a bonfire out in the same orchard. Not in the same location where they burned her body to bones and ashes. They have a bonfire with some friends out. And one of those friends is a young man by the name of Barlin Lott. And Barlin is out there, and he sees Bo and Ryan there together, and they say that they killed her, and they burned her body. Barlin, being one of their friends in their peer group, was very disturbed by what they said. Barlin reported it to local law enforcement. Local law enforcement went to that location where they actually had the bonfire for the party, not to the location where her body was actually burned. The law enforcement looked and they didn't locate anything there at that location because it was at a separate location, some great distance away, from where she was actually burned. 
nothing came from, from what Mr. Lott had told law enforcement when they went to look, they didn't find anything. But we are not here to try both for Tara's murder. Now, you'll hear evidence about the murder, but that's not what we're here to do. You'll hear that Brian <coughs> left his glove outside of Tara's residence at 300 West Park, out in Sibosola, that has his DNA, and Tara's DNA, on that glove. You're going to see blood that was left on Tara's comforter. But this case is not about her murder. This case is about lies. This defendant's lies. This case is about his secrets, his denial. That's what this case is about. Those charges are here in Wilcox County. There are two counts of false statement, hindering the apprehension of a felon and concealing the death of another. This is the indictment that's been returned by the Wilcox County Grand Jury that he did on January the 16th of 2016, knowingly, willfully falsify, conceal, or cover up that Ryan Alexander <coughs> Duke had told him, confessed him about the death of Tara Lee Grinson. A material fact in the investigation of her disappearance. The matter within the GBI uh, state agency by his denial to Agent Jason Chadell at the GBI that he did not discuss Tara Faye Grinstead with John McCullough. Count two, same day, Jan uh, June 16th of 2016, that he did falsify, conceal, and cover up that he assisted Ryan Alexander Duke destroying and disposing of the body of Tara Faye Grinstead. The matter in the jurisdiction of the GBI by his denial to Agent Shadell, the GBI, that he did not discuss burning the body of Tara Faye Grinstead with John McCullough. Count three that he did on that same day, June 16, 2016, a lawfully concealed confession of murder made to him by Ryan Alexander Duke, evidence of the crime of malice murder, that he knew or had reasonable grounds to believe it was committed by Ryan Alexander Duke, but he intended to hinder the apprehension of Ryan Alexander Duke. Count four, that he did conceal the death of Tara Faye Grinstead, uh, which hindered the discovery of whether or not she was unlawfully killed by Mr. Duke by his denial to Agent Shadell uh, during the investigation by the GBI of the interview regarding the death and destruction of the body of Tara Faye Grinstead. Those are the four counts that you were selected to decide and to reach the truth about. That's what this case is about for those four charges. The state has the burden of proof, and we intend to prove to you, beyond a reasonable doubt, <coughs> that this defendant is guilty of all four of those charges. In November of 2006, so remember Mr. Lott gave a statement to law enforcement pretty, pretty close in time to the event when she disappeared in October of 2005. In November of 2006, this defendant, uh, Bo Dukes, is, uh, goes to Fort Steel, Oklahoma, where he is in basic basic training as a recruit. During their Christmas break, they call it, I think, Exodus, Christmas Exodus, they came home to Rochelle, Georgia, where um, John McCullough, I believe, rode a bus over here and stayed with Bo and his mother, Mr. Hudson. And John McCullough, um, I expect to tell you that while he was uh, driving and perhaps they had, had something to drink uh, that night, some alcoholic beverages, that this defendant, Bo Dukes, begins telling him that 1,200 degrees is what it takes to burn human bones. Mr. McCulloch, as they're riding around in this area from Rochelle to Fitzgerald and into, and into Osceola, Mr. McCulloch sees a billboard about Tara Grinstead and that she's missing. And he notices that she's a very beautiful lady. And, of course, he inquires of Bo Dukes about the beautiful missing lady that is on the billboard. And he doesn't say anything at that time, but Mr. McCullough will tell you later that night that he says, hey, you're, you're my battle buddy, right? And he'll tell her, tell Mr. McCullough, I know who did it. He tells Mr. McCullough, my buddy showed up, and excuse my language, but his buddy says, I fucked up. 
did something bad and I need your trouble. Mr. Bo Dukes tells John McCulloch that they then went and burned the body where nobody could ever find it because the conwood burns really hot. Remember, 1,200 degrees burned her human bones. John McCulloch later calls Jason Shadell with the GBI. Mr. McCulloch in fact, does a, a telephone interview with Jason Schnell on June the 14th of 2016. When Mr. Schnell talks with him two days later, Agent Schnell interviews this defendant, Bo Dukes, right here in Wilcox County at the Rochelle Police Department. That's what this case is about, is this interview at the Rochelle Police Department. With that interview, this defendant is confronted by Agent Shadell about what John McCulloch had told him. And this defendant says, nope, denies it all. June 16th of 2016. I don't know anything about Tara Grinstead. I don't know anything about her body. I don't know anything about her. Would you have told John McCulloch that? No, I, I don't know why he would say something. Sheridan, being the mother of uh, Brooke, calls District Attorney Tim Ball in another circuit. And District Attorney Ball refers her to the GBI. And Sheridan is interviewed by the GBI, that is Ms. Kim Sheridan, and she tells them what her daughter told her. Brooke Sheridan is interviewed a couple of days later. Brooke Sheridan tells the GBI that Bo had confessed to her that Ryan had killed Tara Grinstead and that Bo had helped burn and destroy and dispose of her body. Kim Sheridan, knowing that her daughter is involved in a relationship with this man, later confronts Bo herself. And she asked Bo, tells her, Brian killed her, and I helped him dispose of the body. I helped burn, destroy, and dispose of her body. You will hear that in the pecan orchard, that Cheryl Farms, Hudson Farms, they're off the Windmill Highway in Fitzgerald, that GBI agents go out to that location. They are looking in a couple of different locations, and finally they find uh, a location out there on the Fitzgerald Farms where they begin to dig for the bones that burned at over 1,200 degrees of terra In fact, 
Act GBI began using a forensic anthropologist. An anthropologist, one who normally would go out and dig in burial grounds or old bones. But Dr. Alice Gooding comes from Kennesaw State University where she helped them go out and to search in the pecan orchard near Pine Picket for the bones of Sarah Pettigrew. Well, it is there where they dig and you'll see the plots, F and G and J and I, how they identify them, and where they would scrape the soil, layer after layer after layer. And they will find bone, a little bone here, a little bone there, a vertebra, a tooth. It's there that Dr. Gooding will identify Tara's final resting place. There in a McConnell tree after more than 11 years of being missing. She's found. But she's found in both. This case is about Bo's secret. Bo's secret that he kept for Ryan. It's about his secret. That he helped Ryan destroy, burn, and dispose of her mom. The secret that he kept here in Wilcox County when he spoke with Agent Shadell on June 16, 2016. This case is about Bo's lies. Lies that lasted from 2005 to 2016. It's about Bo's cover-up. It's about Bo's concealment that his best friend Ryan had killed Tara Grinston, and then they both burned the body. And it's about Bo's pecan wood and his family's pecan orchard that burns hot at 1,200 degrees. Where it burned the bones, burns the flesh, and burns the bones to ashes. After you've heard the evidence in this case, the state will approve of you beyond reasonable doubt <coughs> that this defendant Guilty on all four counts. Mr. Parks.